With the Halo MCC flight, we have two brand new Halo 3 maps coming into the game. One that no one has ever played in Waterfall. And so in this video, I want to do a breakdown of all the weapon spawns and also all the really necessary jumps you're going to need to know to do well on Waterfall. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again. Today we're doing a tutorial video breaking down the new map Waterfall that has come to Halo 3. This is a cut content map from Halo Online brought into Halo 3 and I got a chance to play it on the opening night of the flight guys and this map is actually really good. It's in an L-shaped symmetrical format so it's easy to understand because it's rather the same on both sides so you learn 50% of the map you know 100% of the map. So in this video I want to give you the layout of the map so you understand it before jumping in, the weapon spawns as well as some interesting jumps that you can pull off on this one as well. So if you want to see some more tutorial videos on some of these Halo MCC maps let me know in the comment section down below what you would like to see next. Leave a like to let me know you want to see some more content like this. Let's get right into the video here. Okay, so the first thing you're probably going to want to know are where are the power weapons? Where do I need to go starting off this map? This is a symmetrical map in a bit of an L shape. And so the one side works almost exactly the same as the other. So one way you can use this man cannon right here as we walk over towards it, you can actually will be launched to the center platform, which has the sniper rifle right over here in this corner. You check it out. The sniper rifle spawns actually every two minutes compared to your normal three minutes. So keep an eye on that with two extra clips. Also, keep an eye on the rocket launcher, which will actually be on the other side of the center area right here. This also spawns every two minutes, but with no extra clip, just two rockets in it. But if you actually find your way to go through these chutes right here down the bottom mid, you'll be surprised that you'll see that there are an extra set of rocket ammo right here, which spawns every three minutes. While you're bottom mid, there is also a power drain down here as well. That's going to be very useful, especially in like any kind of king of the hill type of modes. And coming out spawn each base that you see right here at the second floor of the top area right here has a regeneration field as well spawns every 90 seconds and on this side of the map next to the window you can see there is a shotgun that spawns in this window right here every 120 seconds and if you keep going forward a little bit there is a brute plaza rifle that spawns every 30 seconds this is great to do kind of a bit of a noob combo move with this that shotgun we mentioned earlier is gonna be super useful when it comes to this globe room i guess you want to call it of some sorts now on the other side of the map like i mentioned this is also symmetrical you have the man cannon right there the battle rifles spawn in the same spot right there move over you can see the regeneration field right there as well you got another plaza rifle the shotgun actually spawns within this little cove right here every 120 seconds. Like I said, it's gonna be very useful for bottom mid and also the control room as well. Now this next portion, I wanna show you some of, of the awesome jumps you actually can pull off in this that really give you an advantage within the gameplay. Obviously these tall blocks, you can crouch jump on top of there. Uh, on the other side, there is another box right here, but on this one, it's like kind of a frozen bit of water, but you can actually crouch jump on top of that. Crouch jump on top of this rod right here and jump over onto this platform. They might think that's not very useful because it's so thin, but you can really catch a lot of people off guard because, you know, you got these railings right here, kind of lean up against this as cover. You can really catch a lot of people off guard. This happens a lot like with the Halo 2 map Gemini, where it has like those like elongated platforms outside that really don't really get utilized a whole lot, but can really catch people off guard. If you actually jump over to this platform right over here, if you time a grenade toss just right at your feet, make a jump, you can make it to that little platform. It is rather skillful of a jump, kind of difficult to make. You do have to keep an eye out for this bend of ice right here. And I didn't really find it too useful. It's very situational, but if you can do it, I mean, that's pretty awesome. On this side of the map, you can actually jump on top of these pillars and get right up in that corner right there to catch a lot of people off guard. So what I do is move into right where this crease is to jump on top of the railing, crouch jump up, moving forward and up we go on top of this. Now for my one night of gameplay, I didn't find this too useful, but because we're playing custom games and these are kind of the spawn areas, so this isn't really is a high traffic kind of area, but if you find yourself in this situation, you could use a little height advantage, that's always good to know. Obviously you can crouch up up to these platforms, same thing on the other side of the map as well. Now on this side of the map, there's actually this little cove right up in this little corner right here. You can get up there. There are two different ways you can do it. You can one, jump on top of this little mohawk thing, throw down a plasma grenade and be able to kind of launch yourself up there. Another way to do it is actually checking out this fusion coil right here, jumping on top of this, 
Throwing down a frag grenade, timing the jump just right, it will launch you right up into the corner. But if you're playing like an oddball kind of game or something like that, this is what would be an awesome strategy to, so then it gives you a little height advantage and a tough spot to get to. Now the middle of the map is a really high traffic area. People are flying in. There's so many different angles to get shot from. Not exactly the best place to be. So you want to be in and out as quickly as possible. So you got these two blocks right here to help you jump up to get these rockets. You also have these two pillars over here and over there is it because it's symmetrical. You can jump on top of this, crash up up here, and you're up on top of this platform. Interesting little thing on this side only, actually, there you can see these little tiny metal pieces right here. You can actually stand on top of these and there you go. You can be outside the little edge, maybe waiting for the sniper rifle to spawn that's over there. And you can just maybe catch somebody off guard, jump up, crash, jump up, and there you go. You also can jump down into the lower area as well, which is probably the best way to go about going into the top mid platform area. Now you would think you'd be able to possibly like get on top of this rail, jump over to there or something like that, but you can't. There is an invisible wall right here that will not allow you to jump across there. Now on this side only, with this little tiny outcove of a platform right here, you can actually can jump on top of this railing right here, crouch your way into this little corner. You have a nice little sneaky spot. Now I didn't really find it being utilized too much, but it definitely is an option to keep in mind. Going down the bottom mid, it actually is an interesting little sneaky jump you can pull off here with this way right here. If you see people coming in down below, what you can actually do is just crouch jump, keep moving forward, and you can stay right up on top of this ledge right here. It can be kind of difficult though to stay up there, but once you kind of feel yourself getting caught up on there, you can actually un uncrouch and you can stay on top of this ledge. And so if anyone comes from, keep an eye on your radar, you can come from this angle, you can just jump down, get an easy assassination. Just keep in mind when you're bottom mid, you have the chute right there, symmetrical chute right there, and the two chutes right here as well. So people could just be dropping in from out of nowhere on top of you. Now bottom mid is actually a rather highly trafficked area, but an interesting jump you can pull off here is if you do a little crouch jump, stay crouch, jump, and you can be up in this little area. Obviously shoot through the little crack right there, or just wait for people to come around the corner, get another assassination on them. It's actually not a symmetrical jump because on the other side it's actually just some smooth ice over here so you cannot use that to jump into that corner now on this side of the map right here there is also these little metal poker things that stick out right here you cannot jump on those that's an instant kill zone right there for whatever reason uh, you can also jump on top of these though in the back but again like this is like the spawn area so it won't really be utilized too much but a great point of view if you're ever able to utilize it into the spawn say you're on a good kill streak here that you're coming from this angle right here checking out their spawn you can jump up on top of this box crash jump here jump on top of this rod on top of this platform right here great line of sight into the spawn obviously not a whole lot of cover there but you know you can do it if you want to get maybe like a little bit extra kill if you need that extra angle or so um, you can't jump down here there because of this bump right here and it's an invisible wall which would block you from uh, doing any kind of extra jumps. Now remember how I said earlier that on the dark side of the map you can get up on top of these little pillars right here? Well on this side of the map you actually can't do that but there are these little nooks you can jump into as well but you can still jump on top of this the same strategy as before crouch jump up and up, there you go but then right here start hitting an invisible wall which won't let you go forward anymore. You can actually jump on top of this railing into this little nook right here do a little jump up here we go and there we go a nice sneaky little spot this would be very useful in a free-for-all kind of match uh, mainly because like in on team-based games this is one of the, the major spawn points so not a whole lot of gunfights happen back here but in like in a free-for-all match i could definitely see myself utilizing this a lot another interesting thing is you can actually get on top of this ice right here but a very specific way because you can't just normally do it because it just kind of has like normal geometry it will kind of not allow you to do that but if you do a grenade jump properly I'm a jump up there, you can get on top of this little ledge, you can actually jump on top of the snow across here and get like a crazy angle on people. So say you're over in this room and you know people are pushing the flag which just spawns on that side, you can just peek around the corner right here and pick people off as much as you would like. And since the regeneration field spawns right inside that room, you most likely can just plop a regeneration field down, 
get a nice line of sight on these people, or if anyone's coming from the uh, globe room, you can get a nice little jump on them for assassination. So definitely worth keeping in mind. Uh, currently, also right now, you want to keep, know, guys, that this whole wall right here is bugged. If you touch this wall, you will get stuck. This spawn right here will actually you will get stuck on the spawn against the wall. So. Uh, 343 does recognize this and they will definitely fix it but if you jump up in it rub up against it most likely it'll get stuck on it as well i got stuck earlier on it as you can see right here there we go i'm stuck in this corner can't get out and uh, this is just one of those bugs and weird things that happen when you're boarding maps over that sometimes where things like this happen. So yeah, that's the map of Waterfall. If you guys like these map breakdowns, let me know in the comment section down below if you want to do Sea Edge next. If you guys like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. If you miss any content from me recently, check out the videos on the screen right here. Got a link to all my news and informational videos right there. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.